Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel and this amazing video. I am Aditya. In this video, we are going to try something very exciting. So we'll be using GitHub Copilot, View 3 and Tailwind CSS to create a to-do app. So without any further ado, let's begin. Okay, so if you're new to GitHub Copilot, it's a tool which allows you, it's a much AI tool which allows you to create code. Like you just type comments or you just start typing code and it will autocomplete your code with complete snippet like it just don't autocomplete a variable but it literally <laughs> autocompletes your function or whatever you are typing now it's a great tool uh, there are lots of uh, subjective topic about it but personally i feel like it is a great tool that increases a developer's productivity i'll show you how so what i'm going to do is let's start by creating a simple to do form component so to do form dot view now let's close this icons thing and here what i'm going to do is i'm going to ask it to create a to do form component for me now to begin with i'll be creating a basic setup with vbase or view extension and the thing here is guys i'm literally using extension and copilot to create most of the app so let's here write a comment to do form component with tailwind classes let's see what does it create for us there we go so it has created a form with add to do and there we are having a to do which is a text value and then it is adding it to the now here we need to it's not we need to emit an event because it's a form so we need to pass it to the parent then it will add it to the actual to do so here i'm gonna write create to do state okay and also i'm gonna okay let's see what, what what did it suggested me it suggested me something and add to do function okay okay so let's let's start from beginning let's start by importing the to do uh ref sorry the ref from view so import ref from view there we go now such things we can write as well so here i need to first define then event so i'm gonna say define emit with event add to do or let's take on added okay let's see if it does that oh oh okay it did that that's perfect that's perfect now let's try with creating those two like the to do value and also sorry emitting this from add to do. so create function add to do which emits on added event perfect okay so this is our to do form component great now let's proceed forward to to do list component oh no we forgot our to do state we cannot proceed here so here let's create create to do okay now we can proceed that's great so let's remove this let's remove this perfect now let's go and create to do list component or to do component and inside that let's have to do list so let's try to go step by step so here we base again set up script now here i'm gonna say render to do form with on add it okay let's see what does it do perfect there we go and then we can bring in with define a sync component let's try to bring in to do form so import define a sync component and let's do this import to do form with define a sync component let's see what does it do okay it's imported that imported that perfect perfect now let's next thing we need to do is we need to get create the state so let's let's do some manual work here and here we have ref now just added ref there and now here i'm gonna say create to do's array okay that's perfect and here i will do add to do function create add to do function that pushes to do's to to do's array with id 
okay let's see what does it do okay perfect guys literally if you see in my last video it literally did i literally did the same thing i just and incremented the length with one and literally like wow this is amazing so let's have text over here okay that's great now add to do goes over here and perfect now next we will need to do list so let's have that over here render to do list component okay so to do list will pass on deleted delete to so we also need to create this event okay perfect no problem so let's do over here go over here to do list dot view and we also need to bring in that to do list over here so also get that import to do list as define sync component okay perfect so we can remove the comments from here wow i'm feeling excited about this now let's go from here and let's write the to-do list so we base again set up script now what i'm going to do is now here okay let's see what we could do okay let's create to-do list to-do list component renders text okay let's go over here what does it do for us okay okay it did exactly the same thing that's great and it should give us the last div okay let's write the last div by ourselves and let's see if we are passing the same thing from here so we have text okay that text will be rendered over here that's great now next thing we need is we need and now let's define this as props if you see this to do's are props so here I'm going to say uh, define to do's props. Okay, that's perfect. Now this should be props dot to do's. And here I need to have this delete to do function. So create. Okay, let's let's first create and that emit. So define emit with event. Uh, what was that on delete dead. okay that's great and then we have create delete to do function okay on deleted and we also need to pass the id of that to do so let's try and say and passes to do id okay that's perfect so we can pass the entire to do over here okay that's great now let's go from this to our to do form sorry to do actually because here we are deleting the to do's so let's have that create delete to do function that filters to do array and returns that oh my god this is amazing perfect 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 okay that's great now let's get this inside our home view okay and here let's get the to do component okay let's let's try this render to do component and import it let's see what does it do okay it didn't imported it okay so maybe we need to write the write that over here import to do component okay so now if you see it's in it's just putting dot it should put double dot so with define sync so okay this this it should be double dot because it needs to go to directory up and that's great now let's run this and see what do we get okay the server is running there we go we have add to do so i'm going to say learn react okay moment of truth yay over there now let's add learn view okay now let's see learn svelte perfect now let's try to delete this learn view okay that's deleted swell deleted perfect so that's an amazing tool like personally i have i like this tool because maybe because i'm a fan of ai tools and also in terms of my productivity like although there are lots of things to improve in terms of like uh like the color and all those things which is fine like i can just change the classes here and there but maybe the comments i put 
based on that it created things for me so maybe i need to put different comments or maybe i just need to type start start typing my code and it will create correct things for me and the other thing i liked about this is the way it created define events on deleted for as soon as we have over here on deleted because we have on i added here so that was amazing as well so let me know in the comment section what do you guys think what do you guys like about this tool and also i'd like to mention that if you're a student when this video is recorded so on the date if you're a student then you can get github copilot for free otherwise it's paid so also have a look you uh, might see pricing differently but in my case i just saw it for ten dollar per month and yeah so that's all in this video so hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video hit the thumbs up button if you feel this video is worth sharing with your network please do share with your network and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel so see you in the next video till the next time goodbye